so what i thought today is after every day session right i thought to put one quiz kind of uh, contest here to make all of you participate in it to see up to where you have the understanding there are many online tools okay so even if you want to create your own quiz you can create there i'm sharing you it, it with you okay so i shared your link in the chat you guys can open okay so what will happen when you open that quiz right for every topic i'll create every day i'll create one quiz link for you you just go there and enter your name and just start the quiz okay so there you will see questions so there you will see questions so i created a sample question what is spring framework so i given options like complete mvc framework for web applications complete mvc framework for web applications and enterprise applications or is it a stand alone framework for stand alone applications or we can build any application like web mobile enterprise anything so what is the correct answer you think here hello second, second one second one okay so why not the last one we can build any application like web mobile enterprise anywhere we can use spring framework see mobile it cannot be run no see uh, the basically for mobile also they given support we are not learning them but for mobile developers like for android also there is a spring support okay yeah so this is how we can you know able to see what all options we have and we can able to uh, choose the options actually for mobile development also they given support we have not discussed that but for mobile application development also we have support from spring okay so this is how you can choose your options incorrect okay i made that second option only as a correct option in the quiz creation yeah so how you run spring applications using ioc containers alone or using ioc containers with tomcat using ioc containers with tomcat or any application server or using simple main method what do you think the correct option we can use Thank you. ioc with tomcat container or application servers while using spring when it comes to spring boot embedded servers also we used to have okay this is sample this is not for today okay so going forward on every day basis i'll give you this quiz okay at least 10 questions 5 to 10 questions so that we will be confident that what we understand from the session correct okay so my score is 50 percent so we can understand where we did the mistake okay we will do this also on daily basis once we start with regular sessions right i'll create quiz links so that you can participate there so that we can able to see up to where we have the understanding will that make sense yeah that's interesting yeah so that's how we can you know keep it as a interactive session instead of one way session right we all can participate in it and we can have some kind of discussion there also okay if we have any deviations in the understanding okay that's how we will get more confidence on the course what we learned yeah we will do that on regular basis okay yeah great so what we have discussed as part of our last two demo sessions is the course content we discussed right the course content as that is available for us from our blog itself so go there and see the content we will update the content also okay so if we add any new topics right there are many topics i didn't add it then each here but 
yeah i'll keep update here everything and so these are the frameworks that we are going to cover spring framework spring boot and using boot microservices development okay and every example for spring core you can find spring core examples and when we start with jdbc i'll keep jdbc page here for jdbc examples for now everything is there in core itself all the examples but i'll segregate them into separate links okay so you can download and you can practice them and you can watch videos again and again to you know get the correct understanding what you understand from the session you can revise multiple times and you can uh, see the videos also that also will be available to you okay demo videos will be available from youtube link and once the regular session starts right you will get you will get this link shared folder this is how you will get shared folders shared shared folders Shared drive, I believe. Library. No. Oh, some bad content. I'll I'll show you that. Okay. So you will get. The shared link so on that shared link you can see the videos which we used to share to drive okay on regular basis after session right maybe in one or two hours they will upload that into drive and that link also will be shared with you okay that is how we are sharing to each and every student on daily basis we do that okay and what we understand from the java is you no know, so in java we have multiple frameworks or you can call multiple releases we have like surlets jdbc jsps and ejbs before the frameworks before frameworks entering into the market we have only these components for building web applications or enterprise applications so we used to use surlets jdbs for web applications ejbs for enterprise so they thought that these components are you know heavy components as they have dependency of servers and we need too much skilled developers to develop them slowly frameworks came into the market to reduce that burden okay with good practices and good design patterns as we discussed yesterday many frameworks came into the market like struts jsf or mvc frameworks came into the market and aorm like hibernate came into the market like to overcome the existing ejbs and the surlets and Spring also came into the market to provide an alternate solution for everything. So, okay, when we use Spring, how we develop is when we use Spring, how we develop is generally we follow MVC architecture for building our application. So, for clear logical separation, we do this. So, for designing views, for writing controllers, business classes, DO classes, right, for services implementations. There are many modules from Spring that we use. For front end, you can use Spring given tag libraries. There is a theme lib tag library also we have. We can use the tag libraries, and there are Java based tag libraries also. We can use them. And for controller part, we use this framework like Spring MVC, Spring Security. For a services layer, we use Spring Core. And there is a AOP concept like object oriented programming. We have aspect oriented programming, more useful. Uh, to make your code more reusable than the object oriented we understand that topic as well and spring jdbc on top of jdbc they given this implementations lot of lines code we need not to write and the resources cleanup also we need not to worry 
so as i said right the many good practices they followed to implement them some kind of template design pattern some kind of factory design patterns they used internally we discuss about that patterns also in each topic when we jump into the topic we discuss about patterns also and spring with hibernate integration also they given jpa integration spring data we have so much support for database operations as well finally when we build application using spring right your views controllers models everything we can develop using spring finally we need to run all our classes on spring containers only we need to run all our classes on spring containers and the spring containers we need to start by using tomcat or any application server okay so they are the servers they will start the containers so in this container only we are going to manage all our classes finally all our classes are going to manage which are implemented in mvc or other modules we run through spring containers only so first thing what we need to learn from the spring is the spring containers we need to understand how to use them how to use them we need to understand so that we can start implementing controller code business codes and a dao code and we can see how to run it on these containers okay that is the first main important topic that we need to understand first even spring containers same container spring boot also will use along with built in tomcat along with built in tomcat we use in spring boot that's advanced concepts once with once done with spring discussion we go and discuss about spring boot and microservices also okay so now today i'll show you how to use spring containers the first module right we start with the first module spring core module spring core module we we'll start with spring core module later once done with core module we go with spring jdbc then next is hibernate okay we will discuss hibernate framework separate two day sessions we discuss about hibernate this is a warm for doing cred operations and next we go with spring with hibernate how to integrate spring with hibernate or jpa we'll show you integration of spring with hibernate and jpa okay once we done with this topics we start spring aop spring transactions and spring mvc okay this is how the pattern we follow okay and security also during mvc discussion i'll include spring security module also okay spring security also i'll add here during our mvc discussion authentication and authorization using spring security how to do that i'll show you okay so first we need to start with spring core once understanding with spring core you can learn any module okay but first you need to understand spring core because here we have all the spring core features all the spring features we have to discuss here only okay spring core features fine grained features the important features of spring the first out of spring core is for the first topic which we discuss is containers okay spring containers spring have its own self containers you can call it as self container self ioc containers they have we discuss about that ioc containers first along with spring jar files itself you will get this self containers you need not to install any separate software a container means what we will we'll start with spring containers then next we go with other topics so what is this container means so as you are aware of finally you are going to build some applications right applications like web application or an enterprise application right an enterprise application or you may develop some mobile applications whatever you develop right or any web services application finally you need to launch your application into a server finally you need to launch your application into a server that server is going to manage your application your application finally you need to deploy into a container we can call it as container right 
you need to deploy finally your application into containers. So if it is a plain standalone, I mean, web application, you can use Tomcat, a simple web application. If it is, you can use Tomcat, right? If you build enterprise application, we need to go with web applica uh, application servers like WebLogic, JBoss, we need to use either web server or application server depends on your application if it is a web applications simple tomcat would be enough if it is a web with enterprise combination you can go with web logic kind of server for mobile mobile containers if they need android you know environment you need to run it on android if it is iphone iphone required platform it needs if it is a web service tomcat must be enough or any other containers if they are available so finally you need to run your application on containers what this containers job is if you deploy your web application or enterprise application what containers basic job what they do can anyone can answer what basically they do containers what is basic server responsibility in your perception or in your view to run our applications run means what main method also can run our code right why we need this containers in main method also let's say if i have classes class a class b class c consider these are my application classes class c and class b can't i run these classes in main method can i have a main method class Yes. With public static void main here, and can't I call them with public static void main? I can create object for that classes, and I can run them right. If running yeah. is the only responsibility, but this this is not itself is enough. Okay, basically container responsibilities. Yes, they of course they need to run. But the main responsibility is they will accept request from web, correct? From browser, can I access main method directly? Can I able to access from browser? Can I able to pass my request to main method? No, no. No. And is this main method no, will continuously will run? If it is a main method, will this continuously run? Will it no. be live when we start main method? it will execute and it will shut down automatically yes right but when you deploy your applications that application is to be in live state until you shut down yes so right. somebody is running your classes until you shut down so who is doing that your application life cycle is maintaining by somebody containers will maintain your application it will accept request from different clients client request handling and your application life cycle management means it will create object and it will not kill that object it will maintain your class object until you shut down the application so that your container is somehow it is managing life cycle of your classes so that means uh, the container is managing the thread life cycle of course uh, the whole uh, uh, whole program uh, which is executable in different parts of thread in different thread processor correct correct we uh, that is very in-depth concept okay i should not put that statement here okay okay sir uh, miss of sir uh, miss my container is a server like we are accepting Servers. every request and uh, we are giving the response yes client request and response handling they do yes Client from client, they will receive the request. They will process the request, and again they will send the response. Yes, got it. And they will manage your classes life cycles. Whatever you implement your classes for your web enterprise, whatever application it is, your classes life cycles will be managed. Your your classes immediately it will not kill your classes objects. For example, if you take Tomcat, already if you are aware of it, it's fine. If not. If you take example of Tomcat, consider A is servlet, B is servlet, C is servlet, D is servlet. Instead of using main method, if you deploy this ABCD classes under Tomcat, if it is a Tomcat, 
it will create your a class object b class object c object d object when you start your application and okay. it will not shut down this application in some port number in your machine it will run on so on so port some 8080 port it will run and when somebody requests this port and it will give access to that user to call a or b or c or d classes and this classes objects only one time it will create when you start, start your when you start your tomcat and it will not shut down them until you it will not kill that objects until you shut down your tomcat but when through main method if you do it immediately it will execute and it will shut down and even it is not capable that much capable to read request and give the response you can do it there is a lot of programming that you need to write you can do it okay nothing is impossible in java you can do it but lot of code you need to write lot of threads code you need to write lot of http protocol you need to write server code you need to write okay so much of code you need to write here so that instead of doing that what we do we use tomcat kind of server and there we deploy our servlets the servlets objects life cycle will managed by your tomcat and request and response handling also it will do so this is the main thing our great thing that containers will do that so similar way similar way right while talking about the spring containers spring it has its own self contains so when you build application in spring now let's talk about spring here when you build your application particularly using spring here so using spring you build your enterprise application or web application whatever it is you build your application using spring so there are lot of classes like a class b class c class d class you implemented okay not sir let simple java classes we implemented simple java classes we implemented as part of application and this classes life cycle and request to response handling will done by your ioc container finally where you are going to run your application is on your self container only on your ioc container only this ioc container is the responsible candidate for your classes okay so your request and response handling will done by this ioc container along with right client request and response handling will done by your ioc only along with that the life cycle management also the life cycle management also will done by ioc container so ioc container is a self container and in the simple words you can say it's a java class okay there are two classes they given bean factory we talk about two classes there are many classes okay but the main importantly we talk about these two classes of bean factory and application context they are simple classes okay they are simple java classes we need to use this java class to start your application getting right what i'm saying these are simple java classes this java classes only you need to use so then where i need to create this java class object somebody should call this java class object right somebody should call this java class it is a java class it is a java class but from somewhere you need to call this this java class itself is a container this java class itself is a container from where you call it in real time right we call our ioc classes from tomcat we trigger our tomcat container class from tomcat this tomcat will trigger this class okay by using some servlet help by using some servlet helper it will trigger this class there is only one servlet dependency we have only that single servlet will run on tomcat just to put connection between your application and web this tomcat we are using okay so this tomcat will trigger your factory i mean bean factory or application context these are simple java classes this java class or this ioc containers are going to manage your objects your request and response life cycle also they will main all your classes objects will be managed by ioc only so for general practice right until spring mvc we will not use this uh, tomcat until mvc 
we will not use tomcat until we go to mvc module we will not use tomcat so instead of tomcat what i do here you can create a main method also just for a testing purpose you can use main method java main method you can use from that main method also you can call this classes from this main method also you can this call this classes okay for time being so when you call this class this class will do what this class is a container it will start behaving like a container when you call this class how to call any class by creating its object just in main method what we do we create by using new keyword we create that bean factory object or application context object just we create object for that classes just we create object for that classes either bean factory or application context object in our main method so when we start our main method main method will try to create this object when it's try to start creating object for this main uh, application context or bean factory then immediately they will start like a containers immediately they will start like a containers and they will manage all your classes they will manage all your classes like how tomcat used to behave in case of surlets similarly it will start behaving there are many features in this containers okay there are many features we have in this containers that we discussed one by one okay so the point what i want to make you understand here whatever application you build by using spring all your classes are going to run on your spring containers only those are simple java classes these classes are going to manage all other classes and its life cycles then you might ask surprisingly what is there inside tomcat under tomcat also they have same java implementation same kind of this application context implementation okay the similar kind of implementation only they have okay spring what they thought is instead of we depending on multiple servers spring thought that okay if we give self containers if we give containers to the developers they can able to easily manage their classes by using their own self containers instead of depending on a particular server that's why they have given this containers to us from spring framework so that you can able to manage your objects using your self containers so instead of depending on third party softwares so till yeah. uh, till servlet uh, uh, all our objects were handled by the tomcat yes only okay i don't want confusion in this context but once we develop spring mvc application or spring boot application or microservices application right how they will manage is a tomcat container we should use spring is not against uh, any open sources as tomcat is open source they never thought of building uh, like a tomcat server again otherwise they might have provided one more class for the tomcat also so what they did is they are using one servlet spring is using one servlet class using they are using servlet api only one servlet we configure in tomcat that servlet will trigger our ios okay uh, sir uh, can i ask a question mm -hmm. uh, sir uh, i have a doubts means uh, if we deploy any war file in a tomcat uh, server sir sir mm -hmm. then when we uh, bin uh, in the bin folder when we uh, when we run the uh, startup uh, mm -hmm. tomcat startup mm -hmm. uh, from that sir uh, what will be first called ioc container and uh, after that the relevant classes like new uh, bin factory you have told and application context inside that or something else uh, processing internally it's simple right you know servlets right servlet uh, object yeah. it will create first you know in servlets we have servlet init method servlet destroy methods uh, right right sir uh, once after creation of the servlet object there is a class dispatcher servlet we call it yeah yeah so sir that class object will be created first in that class there is a init method that init method will do what that init method internally creating one web application context object by loading your classes okay then when that init generally init method when called after object creation servlet object will be created first then init method will be called 
that init method will call your application context then your application context immediately will start creating object for abcd classes okay 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 sir that we see very in detailed and very in depth in mvc discussion how that flow used to happen okay okay sir so but i want to make you understand that why this ioc containers they have given is instead of we depending on third party softwares to manage our application classes whatever classes you implement across your application whatever the classes you implement right generally when we get a use case we create a view and controller business do classes what spring is saying is you you need not to use any special container to manage your classes as a developer you implemented a class b class c class d class e class some x y z classes you implemented you can run all your classes on ioc only spring containers only you will, you are not going to run your classes on any other containers you are going to run on your ioc container your ioc container is the only single point of contact for all these objects all your objects will be available in that context okay this is like a single point of contact like a telephone directory in telephone directory how we used to have all the mobile numbers all your objects all your objects life and all your objects you know contacts or all your objects information is available in your spring container only so you should not ask tomcat container why my spring failed when there is a problem you should see your ioc context what happened to your ioc context you need to see because your ioc is the responsible for all your classes okay getting right what i am trying to say yes yeah, sir yes sir okay. so finally when you build application using spring your application is going to run on ioc container all your classes class 1 to class 1000 whatever you implement all your classes will be running on ioc containers only your ioc containers are responsible to manage your classes so all your classes objects and their life cycles everything will managed by ioc earlier we don't know how surlet object i mean we know how creating it how registering it but everything the dependency is there in tomcat you can't play with that but here right you can play with all objects created in ioc once after creation of ob objects you can play with the objects as per your requirements you can use these objects as per your requirements we'll go one by one the topics how to use them not only creating these objects we need to see how to utilize them for our application how to properly use for our application there are many other features one by one we go once we understand with containers how we can utilize the containers what are the best practices that we need to follow to utilize the self containers okay as they have many features yeah so don't we need to configure any servlet classes in web.xml to create that, that objects do. during runtime if i say we are using servlet then it, that is mandatory okay if we are going to use any inbuilt servlet yes when we create a spring mvc project we create one web.xml file under that web.xml file you need not to write any servlet already spring given one servlet we configure that servlet there and that servlet is going to take care remaining things you need not to do anything apart from it. just you need to focus again on your implementation okay so we see that about... yeah sorry given sorry i didn't get you maven maven is covered yeah maven is a building and deployment tool okay so when we develop this application if this application requires any dependencies right like jar files when you want to use the spring core jar files jdbc jars hibernate jars let me show you let me show you the jar files here spring three jar files so instead of 
using jar files directly for your application what you can do you can configure the dependencies in maven project so that from maven repository it will access them so here we have libraries instead of using this jar files directly in your class path or in your library you can create it as a maven project so maven will download from maven repository and even you can build your application like however you want like a jar file or a var file it's a build and deployment tool and it will provide dependencies also okay in spring boot we do everything using maven only okay here you can see simple spring boot application so that completely we manage using maven only so in spring boot what we do we add all the dependencies right we add all the dependencies as a dependencies in our pom file so that you need not to add that libraries by downloading automatically it will download and it will make it available for your application see these all are the maven dependencies maven downloaded these libraries okay spring boot is simple you, you you will not have much confusions while doing spring application okay any more questions okay. shall we see a sample example simple example for this yes sir so for examples also what you need to do is use eclipse any latest version okay use any latest to eclipse version okay so i'm using this 2019.6 you can download the latest version download on eclipse java into your machine install java eclipse sts and oracle and mysql databases okay I'll, I'll provide you that links also just to create a simple project or else you know for your practice what you can do you go to these downloads and download them so first one click on this spring jar files so you will download spring jars here and first example spring ioc containers click on this example you will get the download okay just extract that jars can you please share this link one second please yeah yeah this is publicly available you can go and access it okay anyway already i downloaded that so open your application okay extract this project extract your project extract all whatever you download right just extract it unzip that application copy the path of your application copy path of your application go to file import choose general existing project into workspace give the path click on browse finish it so your application will be loaded here your application will be loaded here okay just you do what once loaded this application right click on the application go to build path configure build path add your libraries okay so delete if you see any red color symbol here right on jar files remove that jars click on add external jars add your dependencies the downloaded jars you have right add all the dependencies add all that jar files to your application and apply you need to do that so that Sir, uh, instead we can do if uh, if we can spring.io and from that we can add the dependencies like spring core and all no don't use that for now okay sir. for spring boot we do that okay okay you're saying spring boot application right spring initializer uh, 
uh yeah spring initializer and instead we use spring uh, initializer uh, like spring starter spring boot starter we can but use that spring, spring boot right? a... don't you want to discuss spring core topics in spring boot we do that i'll show you multiple approaches how to use spring io how to create project dependencies download for now okay. don't use that okay in spring okay, boot sir. we use that concept okay sir for now try to understand what are all the dependencies or jars we have this is how traditional uh, implementation we used to do before spring boot spring boot hardly came before you know 3 4 years back before that this is the style that we used to implement okay okay sir okay sir so each example this is how you can download and add to your workspace and go and see the classes first go to this beans package and see the class let me increase the font size okay so you can see a simple class with the default constructor i have i don't have any logic just i want to see how to create this class object as i was saying your containers self containers are responsible for creating your objects right your application class objects whatever classes you implement your ioc container is responsible to create object so any any container right while creating object they definitely call the default constructor so to prove that ioc container is calling your class i added this default constructor so when i start ioc you will realize that this constructor will be called so that you will realize that this test class object is creating by your ioc container okay so first thing you need to create this bean class first thing you need to create a bean class like this then next you need to create a xml under that xml file there is a design and source tab go to source tab okay under source tab you can see under source tab you can see the code xml code you can see so here there is a main root tag beans and there is a child tag name called bean under this bean tag we are configuring our class beans dot test class using class attribute we are configuring it and id also we are configuring it we we'll talk about this later this is how we configure our bean classes means all our classes which our classes a b c d we implement all classes we configure in xml file we load that xml into ios so nowadays we are not using even xmls there are other approaches also they simplified this configurations okay we we we'll talk about it later so we configure our bean class in xml file like how you configure surlet class in web.xml file our bean classes we configure in this xml file and we load it into application context as i said we need to use main method if it is not a surlet application we use a main method in that main method we start bean factory or application context so in first example i am using bean factory using this bean factory i am loading my xml file into the bean factory and you can get your test class object you can get your test class object when you call factory dot get bean method whatever test class you have created this class object will be created who creates your bean factory will create run it now oh, launch error our rocket is not launching you guys see this rocketry movie hey yeah, i have yeah i see and so he is the guy who invented that uh what is the engine which they used for many rocket launch vikas engine but his story is sad story why it is not launching that's a real story right huh that's a real story actually ah you know i literally cried by seeing this you know some for <laughs> some people it life is very you know it's hard 
even abdul kalam also i mean from the movie what i understand is he is you know uh, bigger than abdul kalam right in, yes, in the yeah. story but Correct. what he uh, achieved finally i mean we people really don't know about him until we see this movie right and right they portrayed him like a criminal no he lost his entire life but anyway yes. somehow they made the movie uh, at least the many people will realize now who is nambi <laughs> yeah because of that only we know that the person uh, actually yes um yeah that is there in all the languages i saw in telugu nice yeah, yeah right so here jre it is using 17 so jre 17 is you know very latest version we don't need that let me use java nine i use yeah i have ready can use okay now you can nine library systems okay check your eclipse by default it will try to use latest jdk version okay even spring boot also not allowed to use that latest version change the version compiler version and run it see test class object is created i didn't tried any new keyword to create the object even if you try it also you can't create see test t equal to new test try to create the constructor test is not visible in test class we created as private in generally we learn in object oriented programming private constructors are not accessible correct yes but your spring is accessible spring will use a reflection library you know by using reflection we can access anything nothing is here hidden from reflection okay internally spring will use that reflection api to access this private constructor and it will create object so in case if you want to avoid that direct object creations if there is a developer who is you know very fresher you know with his anxiety if you try to create new object to use in the application your application scope might deviate okay he might not use that properly so if you don't want to allow them keep it a private constructor spring will create the object through spring only if you want to create all the objects generally through spring only we need to create make all that constructors as private so nobody will create the object directly somehow you can restrict the team creating objects directly in review in your reviews you can say them add private constructor compulsory so that they can't able to uh, create new object in general we should not create as container is doing everything why you are creating you should not now run it you must realize it right how it is creating object that's how it will create all the objects of your application and it will manage its life cycles okay this is very basic example okay you download and see it once we start with our regular discussions right i'll go very in detail about each and every example generally i will not do this download and import here i will try to create brand new examples from this scratch so that you would be get getting that hands on experience okay so yeah this is what i have so we will compulsory implement this okay this quiz program daily okay you all agree with this right it's really yes. interesting yeah you know it really helps as uh, so we can create directly with here if you i mean if someone wants to help me also i'll send daily quiz questions and answers 
so that you can create the quiz that will available to everyone i'll show you how to do that or else i'll create okay um yeah that's all for today and we have long weekend yes saturday sunday and monday you can right. plan your occasions you guys having any plans uh, nothing else yeah, yeah. so i'm going to spend my time for learning new topics okay there are new things that i need to learn for my startup i have my own startup you know i want to build many products day to market yeah i'll try to involve you guys also once done with the course okay yeah if you guys really interested so okay, uh, your startup is which type means that it's e-commerce or something else um i don't want to reveal it but i want to make some products which are really needed to the current market we need to uh, bring the importance of that products to the market i i don't want to go as a traditional mm -hmm. okay i don't want to go as a traditional i want to make really uh, you know uh important products for the students generally okay 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 across sir. the globe you see there are many competitors you know while uh, thinking like this right uh, our friends or colleagues so, some people try to discourage some people try to encourage they will say that there are many existing applications we have how we can market it yes let it be if their earnings are 1000 crores or billions let our product mark you know market it and achieve your goals target for one cr or 10 cr or 100 cr even that is the big asset for us right right sir such projects we can make multiple products and we can market it. right yeah i don't want to talk much here in this session we we will talk about after the sessions okay on regular basis if you guys wants to talk about it. Okay, we can share our thoughts yeah okay sir. so any questions so this apache cxf is also like a framework cfx cfx yeah i used the long by cfx uh it's a container i believe so what project i used i need to recall it somewhere in the banking domain i used it yeah correct this is for launching soap uh, uh, things i mean to make soap up, uh, applications so based web services old architect right yeah yeah so we have that support from spring okay we that was the existing as spring is in the market if you you know jump into new applications use spring only for uh, uh, so based or rest based answer one question yeah uh right now like spring boot is latest correct technology spring boot yes. and microservices yes uh, like but if we try to attend interview on spring like will we be able to get any job or like, most of the requirement will be on spring boot only what is the real time most of the questions are in spring boot microservices only even i attended like multiple interviews most of the questions from spring boot how you will create spring boot projects how you will add dependencies how you will do the configurations what are the, all the cloud services we have how you do load balancing how do you manage distributed transactions how do you manage security logging 
So can we use Spring and microservices, or it is not with the Spring? No, not with Spring. With Spring Boot, we develop. Okay. If with the Spring, if we try to do that practice, you know, that's a never-ending topic. We can't make. It. Maybe that is possible, but we should not go go into that route. Generally, microservices are building using Spring Boot. In Spring Boot, we have a lot of support. Okay. So okay. configurations wise, we need not to spend much time. Spring is providing everything. But if you jump into Spring using Spring, if you want to try that directly, you know, a lot of configurations that manually we need to, a lot of time we need to spend there. Yes. But anyway, in Spring Boot also, we are using the same concepts, right? Same API, same libraries. Only. Why we should use the old one if all new features are there? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. I have a question that uh, I don't know about these uh, servlets and all these things. So where can I get a basic knowledge? There is advanced this? Java. There are advanced Java videos available in YouTube because of YouTube itself. Okay. I, my sessions are there. Go and watch them. If you want examples also, I'll send you. But uh, yeah, it's near really not much important, but at least if you're aware that what is Tomcat, what is Sarlet, that helps you okay. to understand. Okay. Really much focus is not required, but try to learn one, two examples. What is HTTP Sarlet? What is session? Okay. How you will get the request? How you deploy it in Tomcat? The basic examples, one two examples, are more than enough. Okay, thank you. Yes, Rishikesh. Hi, sir. Yeah. This is Rishikesh actually. Hmm. Yes, Rishikesh. Your voice breaking. Uh, yeah. Let me stop screen sharing. Okay. It's audible now? Yes, yes. Can you repeat yeah. your question? So actually, I, have, uh, I was yeah, working in uh, actually, so there I have used Sarlet. Okay. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. that, I have joined this company technologies and mm -hmm. uh... Rishikesh, we lost you. Okay, if bandwidth not supporting, do one thing. Call me. Okay, on my number. If you want to talk anything. I think you, you have really bad network. So anybody else, anybody else have any questions for today? Okay. You can call me Rishikesh. Okay. I shared the URL also, right? Link there also. My numbers are updated. You guys can reach out. Okay. Okay, guys, if no questions, we'll end up the session. Okay, so yeah, anything you want to talk, Surya? Uh, I can Spring Boot, be, Spring Boot Data JP and the web, web security will be covered. Yes, yes. Security, logging, transactions. Okay. End to end, I'll try to cover. Okay. And I'll later, you know, I'll I'll uh, plan a project session. Uh, yeah, that that I'll not include in the course, and I'm not promising it. But you know, definitely, one day for all of you, I'll send a private invite. There, I'll show you the projects also. Okay. Okay, that's it. that is good actually. Yeah. For yeah. us. We will do that. Maybe not only for your batch. 
I'll ask many people who are really interested to see right the real time implementations. I'll invite all of them and conduct a project session. Yes, yes. Anything else, Ashok, Arya, Harleen, Swapnil? Okay. So if not, we will meet next on Tuesday. Get the, uh, you know, not the demo link. You you need to get the, you know, uh, regular link. Please try to get that link. We will speed up our learning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you all. Hello. Happy weekend. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you Happy weekend. Yeah. Bye. Thank Bye. you, sir. Thank you.